Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Esti Habsari Mistoko. I'm from Young Professional 65, Class C, Master of Business Administration ITB. Today, I want to share my analysis about the financial statement and responsibility accounting of PT Muti Bintang Indonesia to fulfill the requirement of final SM accounting lecturer by Dr. Erman Asumirat, SE, MBIS, CSA, CRP, CIB, and AK. This is the contents. We will talk about company profile, financial statement, responsibility accounting, and conclusion. Let's start about the company profile. Multibintang start in 1929 with the establishment of NV Netherlands in this beer region. Multibintang is inseparable to Bintang Beer. It's Indonesia's favorite and most iconic beer brand. Market the world's most valuable international premium beer brand, Heineken, Strongbow, and alcohol-free beverage. Multibintang is a leading trusted Indonesian beverage company that is listed on the Indonesia Stock Exchange. This is the highlight of the multi-bintang. Multi we have grown in scale for 88 years to become a leading multi-beverage company and continue to demonstrate strength, capability, and steadfast commitment to produce the best quality beer and soft beer to occur to our consumer. This is the multi-bintang products in Indonesia. There was a Heineken beer, Bintang beer, Bintang Redler, Bintang Redler Zero Alcohol, Bintang Zero, Strongbow, Green Sands, and Feyros. This is the data from the shareholding. Based on the picture, we can see that Heineken International BV owned 81.8%. 78% of the company's total shares. The remaining 18.22% of the total were owned by the public. And no single public shareholder owned more than 5% of the total share. Okay, we will talk about the financial statement. This is, this is the data of the uh, net sales or the net income. The net income in quarter two, 2021 has increased from 299 billion to 1.1 trillion. And the COGS in uh, quarter two has increased by 110 billion. This, this is the detailing. The total sales product have increased by 336 billion. The increase in net revenue can be seen from local sales increase by 337 billion and export sales increase by 915 million. The net sales by product group alcoholic increased by 336 billion. This is the data of the COGs. The COG is increased because the purchase of the raw material from the related party and the purchase of manufacturing overhead. The raw material is one of the most important to contribute to the uh, total environmental impact of a product. The multi-bintang main raw material consists of barley, malt, and yeast, while the packaging material consists of bottles, cakes, crates, and cans. This is the data of the change in equity. If there was a change in equity occurred due to the distribution of dividends to the owner of the company in this quarter. From the asset statements, there is a decrease in cash and cash equivalent, but there is not much significant problem. It can be said that the cash flow from the multi bintang company is quite good. This is the data of the inventories. The inventories increase because the allowance from 
for decline in value for inventories that provide for all types of inventory except for goods in process and material in transit. And the inventories were insured. The management believed that the sum insured is sufficient to cover the risk of potential loss due to, among other risks, fire, natural catastrophe, and flooding. This is the detail. There was a increase in prepaid expense because the company insured the inventories to cover the risk potential. This is the data of the liability and equity. There was an increase in total liability from 1.47 trillion at the end of the 2020 to 2.15 trillion at the end of 30 June 2021 period. There was an increase of 46%. The most increase was due to the company taking a short-term bank loan of 550 million in 2021. This is for, uh, we will talk about the responsibility accounting. The responsibility center. Responsibility center are identifiable segment with a company for which individual manager have accepted authority and accountability. There are four types of responsibility center which can also be referred to as responsibility accounting unit. There was a cost center, revenue center, profit center, and investment center. Let's talk about cost center. The cost center usually produce goods or provide service to other parts of the company. Because they only make goods or service, they have on no control over sales price and therefore can be evaluated based on, lead on their total cost. This is the example of the uh, person who has an uh, authority to uh, manage the data of the COG is. From the revenue center, usually have the authority over revenue only and have a very little control of our cost. To evaluate a revenue center performance, look only at its revenue and ignore everything else. It's uh, same with the previous. The authority, the person who have a authority only manage the data of the net sales. <clears throat> the profit center, Profit center is a business unit or segment that generates revenue and equals cost. In other words, it's a department that uses company resource to generate income. You can think of this as a segment that earns money or creates sales for the business. Let's take a, an example from Multibintang. The GPM margin in 2019 is 61 percent and for the 2020 is 47.3%. And the net profit, net profit margin from the year 2019, was was uh, 32.5%. And the year 2020, there is 40, 14.3%. For the investment center, in the investment center type, the division manager is not only measured by profit, but also by the capital or asset use. Return of, on investment is often used to evaluate their performance. Take a, a sample from the multi bintang, the ROI in year 2019 is 41.6% and ROI in year uh, 2020 is 9.8%. Conclusion is PT Multi Bintang Revenue is 1,136 billion with the gross margin at 
592 million. So PT Multi Bintang earned profit in 366 million with the gross margin percentage at 52% for the six month period and did 30 June this year. Uh, it can be seen that it has a significant increase from December. It's about 336 million. The working capital statement is uh, 714 million and the current ratio for every one liability there is 1.33 asset as a backup for the six month period ended this year. During this period, PT Multi Bintang spent a lot of money on insurance to cover the risk of the company asset and make dividend payment. PT Multi Bintang make a loan to bank for progress of the company and avoid the sudden expense. The company is still categorized as a healthy company based on financially and operationally. And this is an additional information. This is the graphic of revenue and operating profit overview in three years. It can be seen that uh, there was a decrease from last year. And then this graphic is revenue and operating profit overview period ended 30 June this year. From December uh, 2020 until 30 June 2021, there was an increase in revenue and uh, operating profit. And we hope that the revenue can continue uh, to increase until the end of the period and keep becoming a leading multi beverage company. That's all from me. Thank you for your attention. Sorry for all my mistakes.